share. Share via email post to your profile report story. I hope this story actually gets views. I've tried making stories about something other than MHA and Takagi and it didn't end well. This story is like a filler arc between Alabasta and Skypia. It was a cold windy night out and the crew's navigator was spending it counting out the money they currently had. Nami always loved money. She had been so used to earning money to buy back her hometown but now she could collect it for herself. And her crew of course. Nami made sure to count the money every night and she always double checked. The first time to make sure everything was there and the second was just for personal satisfaction. She loved money a lot. Of course though she had other things she loved as well. Her family that she left at her home and tangerines. But she probably loved the crew that she was in the most, although she would never admit it. She still remembers all the pain Arlong had caused for her. She would never forget, but now she was free to do whatever she wanted. And it was all thanks to her Captain Luffy. He's probably out cold from eating again somewhere on the ship, thought Nami. Lately she had been thinking quite a bit about her captain. She really owed him so much after everything he has done for her. However lately she had been thinking about him quite a bit and it was even starting to distract her from counting all the money. She tried talking to Chopper about if he could do anything about mental problems, but he was only trained for more physical ones. After she finished counting the money she decided she needed some fresh air to relax, as that was Chopper's best advice he had. She opened the door on the ship and stepped out onto the deck of the Going Merry and felt the cool sea breeze on her skin. Shish went to the front of the shop watching the waves in the water splash against the ship as it was currently docked. They had to stock up on food once again, which would most likely be gone by tomorrow at best. She looked at head of the Going Merry where Luffy often was. He wasn't there though. He probably really is asleep somewhere. I just hope he didn't fall in the water. Again. Thought Nami. Suddenly the person she was just thinking about jumped right in front of her. Hey Nami. Yelled Luffy scaring Nami causing her to fall on the ground. <laughs> Luffy. Quote dot. Said Nami. Hey Nami. Said Luffy with his big grin. What the hell? You nearly gave me a heart attack. Said Nami getting up. Um, what are you upset for? All I did was say hi, said Luffy. You jumped in front of me out of nowhere as I was thinking. I should push you in the water, said Nami, but the I would drown, said Luffy. That's the point. Yelled Nami. Geez I'm sorry alright, said Luffy. HMPH, where did you come from anyway? Asked Nami. I just came from the kitchen but Sani put locks on everything. I came outside and saw you so I jumped on over. Said Luffy. You need to stop trying to eat everything. And plus we already had dinner earlier. Said Nami. But the restaurant ran out of meat before I could get full. Complained Luffy. Just what I expect from you. Said Nami shaking her head. So what are you doing out here Nami? Quote dot. Asked Luffy, quote dot 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 dot, I'm just thinking. Said Nami leaning on the rail of the ship. What about, asked Luffy, just, about our adventure. I still find it crazy how one day I was under Arlong's control and the next I'm on an adventure with you now free. Said Nami, I really kicked his ass, quote dot, said Luffy, yes, you did. And I'm very grateful for you Luffy. Said Nami. E.H. it was nothing and I'm not trying for only one who helped. Zoro, Sanji, and Usopp fought as well. Said Luffy. I know Zoro wanted to leave me behind. And Usopp ran away at first. And Sanji. Well he's Sanji. He would do it for anyone who is a woman. But you did all that for me just cause I needed help. I know I don't say it must. But thank you Luffy. Said Nami, of course, you're my Nakama, quote dot, said Luffy, even when I betrayed you and took the ship or yelled at you, 
Quote dot. Asked Nami. Even then, once you are on my crew I don't let you go. Said Luffy. You are just stubborn. Said Nami. And hungry. Said Luffy rubbing his stomach. Quote dot dot dot. You know what here. Said Nami. She reached into her pocket and pulled out some candy. Where did you get this? Asked Luffy taking the candy. Sanji gave it to me before he went to sleep. Said Luffy. Thanks Nami. Quote dot. Said Luffy. He unwrapped the candy and threw it in his mouth and gulped it down. At least chew it. Yelled Nami. It was good thank you Nami. Said Nami with his big grin. No problem Luffy. Said Nami looking at the waves. Nami I'm going to go to sleep. We have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Said Luffy, what are we doing tomorrow? Quote dot, asked Nami turning to look a Luffy. Robin said that we are nearby some islands that may have treasure. It can be an amazing adventure. Quote dot. Said Luffy, if there is treasure I'm in. Quote dot, said Nami. Great, get some rest. Good night Nami. Quote dot, said Luffy running to his bed excited for adventure. Sometimes I wonder how is he the captain. Thought Nami. She decided to head to her bed as well so she can get some sleep and rest from her thoughts of her captain. What did you think?